Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Thursday's Art Enrichment video. In the theme of keeping it simple, I wanted to give you guys another simple activity. All you're going to need is a piece of paper and a box of crayons and something like a pencil or a pen or anything like that that you can apply pressure with. Why would you need pressure? Today, we are going to make something called a wax transfer. The crayons are going to be the wax. The pencil is going to help us transfer the wax from one side of the paper to the other. So what this looks like is this beautiful thing. So right here, this is our transfer picture. This is the wax that we have transferred. Now, I'm going to flip you guys around and show you step by step just how to do this. Alright, so you don't need a whole lot of materials for this project. I have myself my white paper, I've got crayons, and you need a pencil, it can be a color pencil, a regular pencil, it could be a pen, anything that doesn't have a really sharp tip, but has a dull tip. So, big pointy pencils are not going to be your friend. Pencils you haven't sharpened are going to be your friend. You could um, do this with just about anything that is pointed. You could even do it with a toothpick or a barbecue stick. Alright, so step one is to pick out your colors. Um, I have picked out a warm color scheme. I'm using orange, pink, this reddish, purplish red, <laughs> and a yellow. Uh, you can pick any color scheme you want to. You can do a full rainbow. These colors are up to you. Okay, so set my pencil aside for now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my paper and I'm gonna fold it in half. Open it back up. This is the side that we're gonna put our crayon on. This is the side that the transfer is going to happen to. So with your colors, whatever colors you've chosen, uh, we are gonna be pushing really, really hard. Okay, almost hard enough that you're going to break the crayon, but not so hard that you do break it. Uh, your pattern over here, you can do stripes, you can do shapes, you can do blocks. It does not matter what you do over here as long as you cover the whole page. So remember way, way, way back to my very first project, we did abstract doodles. If you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it sometime when you can. Um, I talked about placement of items. So this is going to be abstract. You're going to take your crayon. You're going to push really, really hard. It does not matter where you put your colors or how much, just as long as there's absolutely no white paper showing through and you are pushing really, really hard. The more uh, wax you have from the crayon, the better. See, I'm going over the same area several, several times. Let me show you what it looks like when you don't cover it enough. Do you see how that is still streaky? I can still see white paper here. I didn't push very hard. Make sure we get it all covered. Wow, my color just got really, really dark. All right. Don't even have to keep going the same way. Just cover the whole page. All right, through the power of fast forwarding, let's get this done.
All right, so I wanted to jump back in. I'm having a little bit of trouble right here with the edge of my paper. My crayon keeps catching and flicking it back up. So what you have to do is you have to always push out to the end of the paper and don't color back up. So when I color up, I'm catching the paper. When I color down, it works. That is why we use mess mats. All right, I'm gonna get this finished up. Whew. Okay, that took me a long time and my hand kinda hurts a little bit. But there we go. This whole entire side is completely covered with crayons. So if I were to touch it, I couldn't feel any paper. I just feel the smoothness of crayons. All right, here comes a really fun part, the transfer part. So we're gonna fold the paper back up. Think of a drawing in your head that you want to do. This can literally be anything. Remember the doodles? You can go back to doodles. Or if there's something you want to do, uh, just draw it out. I am just going to make a little garden. I think that should be pretty fun. Big chunky grass. Okay, here's the thing when it comes to this transfer. If you just press one time and have like a thin little line, it's not gonna work. What you need to do is once you've drawn it one time, go back and now you make your line a lot thicker. Do you guys see the difference? I'm going in over the same line several, several times. This is gonna make your transfer show up and be really awesome. All right, so I can check on my transfer. I can see it right down here. My yellow is not coming through very well. Do my yellow a little bit more. There we go. And so this is the beginning stage of my transfer. Now I wanna draw some flowers. Just some simple round flowers with petals. Don't leave it here. Go back and make it much darker. Press really, really hard. Okay, now another flower. This time a tulip. And then this one, it's gonna be more like a sunflower with big pointy petals. All right, now my garden needs some bees. So my pencil is getting too dull for me to even uh, draw hard anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to sharpen it all the way. I'm going to a little bit sharpen it so that there's no big point. I always like to draw the little path that the bee has taken. I just think it's cute. And then every flower needs some sun. There we go. I think my picture looks complete. Let's see the transfer reveal. Oh man, you can't see it that well on camera. Let me zoom in a little bit. Now you can see it a little bit better. Got my sky and my flowers down here. Mm. So maybe this would be better if I did it with darker colors, such as like dark greens and purples and blues and stuff like that. Maybe this yellow is making it hard to show up. That's something I can experiment. I can do another one of these. All right, guys, this should be a pretty fun and pretty easy project. 
You could even have your paper together like this where you have your drawing and you have your cool little crayons or you can separate it or you can just flip it behind so nobody sees a crayon transfer. It's up to you. I think mine looks pretty cool like this and I think that is how I'm going to put that up on my wall. Play around. Uh, learn how hard you need to push the crayons. Learn how hard you need to uh, push with the color pencil or whatever kind of uh, utensil you use over here. Draw whatever picture you want. Use whatever colors you want. Experiment and have lots of fun. Happy creating!